Hi, welcome to the workshop. I'm Mitch, and today there's no woodworking tool. I'm launching a competition. I've been very lucky to get some sponsors for this competition. It's a little complicated, so I'll put details up on the screen. But basically, Axminster of Power Tools in the UK are donating a first prize for all UK entrants. Timbican from Australia are offering a first, second and third prize, all gift vouchers for their site. And Inventables are offering a first, second and third prize of gift vouchers for their site. A big thank you to all of them for helping out. I'll also be offering my usual little token from the workshop and that will be worldwide. Now obviously those sponsors would love you to look at their websites and I'd encourage you to as well because I've looked and they've got some great stuff. But what about the competition itself? Well it's called Toolmake and I'm going to try and run it every year so this year it's called Toolmake 15. The concept's really simple. All you need to do is build a tool, either video it or photograph it during the build and being used. Post the video with a link to this video on YouTube. If you've got photographs, you email the photos to me and I'll post them on videos regularly during the course of the competition. If you're entering by posting a video, then you'll need to include links to this video itself and to my website. The competition runs from today, the 14th of June 2015, and closes on the 31st of July 2015. All entries must include the country of residence so that I can put you into the correct draw. The draws will take place as soon after the 31st of July as I can manage it and I'll post a video showing the winners on there and I'll also put a list of the winners up on my website. Full details of the contest can be found on my website together with links to all the sponsors. Now it wouldn't be a competition without entrance so come on get stuck in and build something. Here are just a few examples of the tools I've made that you've probably seen me using in my videos. From the very simple to the rather more complicated. Really simple is a pair of folding wedges and some different spacers. You can clamp a board between bench dogs on a bench without using a towel vise just by using the correct space, say, a spacer and the wedges. If you've watched my sharpening series, you'll have seen me using this little aid and this little aid. Incredibly simple to build. You'll also see me using winding sticks quite a lot, especially recently. Here's a little shoulder plane that I built. And what about the humble bench hook? This one works for both Japanese and Western style saws. If you want to get more complicated, then I'm sure you will have seen me build this mitre shooting board for carcass mitres. So it doesn't matter whether your tool is complicated or very simple, you can enter it into the competition, and I hope you will. And please spread the word around. The more entries, the more fun it's going to be. Cheerio!